morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, oh, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Let me salute to Bun B. Salute to Houston's own Bun B. You know, every year he does the rodeo out in Houston. And again, uh, last night he put on a show. So salute to Bun B. He brought salute out uh, DMC. He brought out Drake. He brought out the whole Houston, man. So nice. salute to Bun B. He kills it. He does it each and every year. One year I'm going to get out there and rock with you, Unc Bun. But uh, salute to Bun. Okay. All right, let's All get right. to Jess with the mess. Yeah. Where is Jess Solaris, Jess for Robin Moore? Jess don't do no lies. Jess is going to bring you numbers. Jess with the mess, I need this real. On The Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stack. Adidas <laughs> to donate Yeezy proceeds to anti-hate groups. Now, Adidas said that they were thinking about doing this, they was going to do this or whatever, but they actually did start. Uh, they announced that they will use the money from last year's Yeezy sales to donate to anti-Semitism and anti-hate groups. They're planning to give away more than $150 million, and they reported that they uh, had $1.3 billion worth of Yeezy sneakers in their, well, dollars worth of Yeezy sneakers um, in their warehouse af after ending their partnership, which I think is crazy. Uh, they made the decision to sell the remaining products in three batches. Adidas recorded roughly 330 million profit off of Yeezy's mm -hmm. inventory in 2023. The company already made donations to the Anti-Defamation League, the Philanese and Keita Floyd Institute for Social Change, mm -hmm. uh, run by the brother of George Floyd. Yep. Um, they, uh, so all together they gave away 10 million uh, already. I'm not mad at that. Okay. I don't, and Absolutely. I don't think they, I don't think they're gonna stop selling Yeezy. I think they're gonna keep producing because they make so much money off of it. Yeah. And I really don't. Outside of Yeezy brand, you do see Adidas, but not like the Yeezys. Like mm -hmm. the Yeezys are still people still want to buy them. They still go to StockX and get them. They still resell mm -hmm. them. I can't see them stopping. What do you mean you outside of Yeezys? Crazy. You don't see Adidas. No, I say outside of Adidas, I only see people wearing Yeezys. I don't really see too many people wearing too many other editions well, I think, of the Adidas. I, I think we don't pay attention because we don't realize Adidas is bread and butter. It's football. Well, soccer, yeah. soccer, you yeah. know, soccer so when football. you see the jerseys and all of that, you see mad kids in soccer jerseys and all that. So it's not just sneakers that they're selling. They're selling merchandise and everything. But they said they made yeah. like five, six hundred million off of Yeezys, right? Yeah, five or six hundred million, but they're like a four or five billion dollar company. But that's still going to hurt if you don't but make five hundred million. But you don't think after ending the partnership that that's, that's kind of crazy, like... Why you just won't get rid of the shoes? Like why y'all just won't cancel the line? Oh, because they had all the, the inventory. The they, they had they had uh, all the leftover inventory. That's mm. what that was. So but, all the mm. all, all the leftover inventory they had. That's the deal they did with Kanye to sell and okay. donate to the uh, but, the hate group. But wasn't he? Was it? Oh, I'm Ye sorry. Mad? By the way, my, I'm sorry too. They're a 39 billion dollar company. I'm oh. sorry. Okay. Wasn't yeah. Ye mad though? Because they were putting out colorways yeah. that he didn't yeah, approve. Yeah, that he didn't even approve. Yeah, you know, they, they were, were still making, making new shoes. Right. I can see if that was just leftover inventory. Right. They were still making. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's Adidas. They own it. Okay. They signed the contract. I understand that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, That's the contract you right. signed. I still see, like, oh, my God, that's kind of crazy. All right, look. And um, politics. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that they are ready for nuclear war, not just regular war. He said nuclear. Mm. Uh, earlier Wednesday morning, Putin said the Rus that uh, Russia <laughs> is ready to use nuclear weapons <laughs> and Russia's sovereignty or its independence is threatened. Right? So... Putin has reportedly talked uh, has repeatedly talked about his readiness to use nuclear weapons since that full scale invasion of it, it, Ukraine on February 24th, 2022. Now, Putin's previous uh, threat came in his State of the Union address last month when he basically said to the West that jumping in this fight with Ukraine will put y'all in my business, which put y'all in the line of fire. He was also asked if he has ever considered using battlefield nuclear weapons in Ukraine, and he responded and said, no, there's no need for that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, he also noted that he doesn't think that the world is heading for a nuclear war. He did also say that that does not mean a war is happening now, but basically we got it on us, so watch how y'all moving. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> it, it on us, so no, no, I mean. man. You know, yeah. it's amazing to me that, you know, it's not more conversation around these stories because he's been flirting with it and dancing yeah. with it. For him to downright say it. Out of like, nowhere. It's like, yo, why is this not more conversation around this? Yeah, and it's also kind of like, like you said, flirting around and playing around it. And it's unwarranted because nobody is, no, nobody did anything. That's why he said it's not happening right now. We just, you know, it's a warning to other countries, especially to the U.S. Right. Uh, to be cautious going forward. And then also, which is... Um, and China responded to them too. Mm. Yeah, they said that... Uh, uh, 
uh, that nuclear powers should jointly seek de-escalation yeah. following a Putin statement that Russia is mm. prepared for a possible nuclear conflict. Also, what is interesting is that the Russia's uh, presidential election is also tomorrow. It begins tomorrow and it goes uh, all the way through Sunday. And how so, can you play with this kind of rhetoric at a time where people can fake so many things. Yeah. yeah. Artificial intelligence can fake so many things. You can fake yeah. voices, you can fake tweets, you can fake phone calls. Like once you see a a, a leader, a world mm-hmm. leader say something like mm-hmm. this, somebody can just put something out there that's not true yeah. and have people knucking and bucking all over the world. Well, they just posted wow. a, a, a picture of Putin's uh, palace, right? It's like 1.4 billion. It's on an island where that you can only get to it a certain way and it has all these bunkers which you can go down just in case of mm-hmm. anything. And they just said he just finished it, which scares me. It's like, if they just mm. finished it, he going to go into hiding for a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, he's just, you know, flexing on us or whatever. But real quick, Lil Mama gets candid about dealing with the depression after the stunt she pulled in 2009. So she sat down with my Baltimorean, my fellow Baltimorean, the J. Hill podcast, mm-hmm. um, when she got emotional while explaining how she dealt with depression and all that after the MTV Awards. In the beginning, I was hurt. Tyrese called my phone as soon as I got home. He was like, bro, you ain't tell me you was performing. First of all, all, my heart is racing. I'm already mad embarrassed. And I had to deal with like a love on the radio in the morning. Wendy Williams, Angie Martinez, who she talked to Jay. Mm. And he was just like, yeah, you know, I didn't like it. And he was so angry. And I was just trying my best to do everything I could. After a while, I was like, forgive yourself, bro. Move forward. That ain't make you like depressed or nothing? Bro, I was hurt. I was depressed. I was like, yo, what's going on? And then you got everybody telling you like you're doing bad. People pointing at you like what did you do how was you able to get through that i'll be thinking about like real life stuff that people go through bro it's people going through worse than me bro and that's what helped me be like yo i'm good so i'm sorry i said mtv awards it was the mtv vma awards um now alicia keys when we heard from her she was like basically she didn't even know that she was right there but jay-z has spoke to uh, angie martinez about that me personally i would never do that i would never have the nerve to do that right. you know it's just like someone's up there performing like we work really hard at their performance to put on the show for people you know and to interrupt that that moment for us i, I don't think that was the right thing to do I, I actually thought it was the equivalent to what kanye did to taylor swift but nobody really talked about that because i'm not a little sweet girl from the middle of america <laughs> right 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 they- i'm cool with her you know being excited and all that i understand that but you know you also have to understand that you know people put in work to you know to make that performance happen that took weeks were you angry yeah i was a little angry yeah to be honest I, but you know what i'm gonna do I'm gonna fight little mama Free little mama, man. Yeah. Free little mama. There is no way in hell folks are still holding on to this little mama interrupting Jay Z Alicia Keys story. What you mean, folks? She's a, she was the. That's what I'm saying. She, it, you know what? She needs. She she probably should let it go because her talking about it on Jay Hill show it will have people talking about it, it this morning. Yep. Right. You play. You play in the Jay Z like audio. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. It's yeah. like you know, and and also little mama has to look at it a different way too. Mm-hmm. She a legend. Yeah, she is. She interrupted Jay-Z but maybe she don't want to be, But maybe she don't want to be a legend 2009, for that. But, but, she wasn't. She just had lip gloss. She's the first she meme. Up there. Well, okay. Mama's the first meme, if you but, think about it. But then it was like, you know, did you really not, re- did you really get lost in all this? Because Beyonce pulled you back and he was like, nah, for real, chill, B. No, the funny you know part, I mean? she tried to and, bring Beyonce on stage with her. No, she didn't. She, she was, go watch the video. She tried to pull and Beyonce I, let her hand go. I thought she snapped. No, she snapped. See, the fact we're even like, talking about this. We no, should, we, she's yeah. like, Beyonce, no, you're not from here. Stay over there. You know <laughs> no. what I'm saying? She went up there and <laughs> Alicia said she ain't see it. But girl, she was right there. Free little mama, man. Put y'all right. fingers down. Free little is, mama. And that is just with the mess. What are we doing in this Breakfast Club documentary? Because we got to talk about the time. Free right? little mama. You know little mama's dad was going to pop me because of Charlamagne? We'll talk about it in the documentary. Why ain't, why ain't pop Charlamagne? Because I was there. I was there. Crying. I was the one that pulled up. And he seen me. Oh, salute my Salute to little God. mama's father. Salute to our whole family. Free I'm little mama, man. Glad we we got to get her back up here. Absolutely. Salute to little mama. Yeah, all give right. Us some, uh, send us some healing energy and, and set her down with one of your therapists. To heal her uh, mental so long ago. Illness. And by the way, she's been up here three or four times. She okay, has. and she was she probably has. depressed all them times, and you so busy joking, you didn't see. Guys, guys, <laughs> so, we, gotta go. we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We'll all be right, back. Well, bye, it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.